Hi all, welcome to my channel, welcome to my world, the world of grain. Unfortunately, it's the last time we're going to be able to do this. This is part five of Diagostini's Build the Apollo 11 Lunar Module. How do I know it's the last time? A couple of things. If you look on the back here, it doesn't tell you what's coming in the next issue. And more importantly, we've got the uh, typical thing here which says, thank you for collecting Build the Apollo 11 Lunar Module. Unfortunately, we've had to suspend publication of the series uh, for the foreseeable future. Obviously, we did know this was a trial, so it's no surprise that we've got this. Uh, there is a thing to fill in there just to uh, get information should they want to uh, go ahead with that again. Now, this trial, as I said, came out in December last year. We haven't seen sight nor hair of it since so this might be one of those things that never happened but when you see all of the parts that we've built together in this stage i mean we're just adding some more bits to this section that we're working on you can make up your mind for yourself uh, is it something that you think they should have gone ahead with uh, let's show you what we're going to do okay here's the parts we've got not many parts these three parts here are going to be attached uh, to the actual lunar module that we were building earlier on and the last part here will be going towards our astronaut because uh, the astronaut's base that we had is not for him. <laughs> Those little footprints there don't actually match his. But uh, I'll show you what I mean when we come around to doing that. Uh, but we are going to be putting some of these tie rods in here. Uh, we're going to be putting a base, uh, an ascent stage up a panel on. And then last but not least, we've got a side panel there above the left window. Uh, then we're going to sit our astronaut just above the lunar surface. And that's it. That will be all five issues of the trial complete. Uh, and I've really enjoyed it. It's going to be a shame that uh, this isn't continuing. But as I said before, I love anything spacey. So if they any bring out anything like this in the future, I'm on it. <laughs> anyway, look, without further ado, let's get cracking. So the first thing we've got to do, bring over this uh, lunar module parts that we've had so far with the hatch in it. We're going to be uh, attaching a fuel tank support strut. Now, if you look at this, we've got a pointed end here and here we've got an end where we're going to screw. Now, if we turn this over, if I show you what this looks like, uh, this end's going to go in this section here. So when it goes in, I've had a quick muck around to make sure that I am putting it in right because it's got no rhyme nor reason about what angle it's going to go at. But it's pretty much locked in when I put it in that way. They provide three mil screws for this, so it only takes one screw. So I'll get this loaded up. Once again, I'm fighting with my uh, screwdriver after I magnetized it because it wants to pick up everything at the moment and then we get the first screw in. Just like that. That's going to stay there ready for some other part that's going to link to it, which we're probably never going to find out now, but uh, that's that bit. Uh, the second part we need to do is the attach the ascent stage upper panel, which looks just like this. Uh, it's got screw holes that look like it going on the top, but we're going to be concentrating on these ones down the bottom. Now this is going to fit above this silver section here. It's going to sit on top. Uh, it has got a certain way around that it goes. Uh, I'm just going to put it in the way around, not that way. It goes in this way around. So if I show you the sides, it's looking just like that when I put it in. And this, again, is going to be held in with the three mil screws that come in this issue, just like that into the two holes at the top here and here. So we get them in. Once I've got one of them in, it, it's easy. <laughs> it's just getting that one in. And this is just going into the final hole on this side. Nice and tight. And there we go. That's the top section fitted in, looking just like that. Now we're going to be attaching the ascent stage upper left window bracket, which looks just like this. And just that piece that we put in, this is going to go just to the left of it here. And it's going to fit in just with one screw just into the hole right there. Again, I do like how diversified these uh, three mil screws are. They work on everything. These are the equivalent of the uh, Diagostini AP screws. <laughs> so we get this one in, just like this. Put this in, I'm gonna position it where it needs to go. And there we go, that's that side panel in there. Again, that's gonna be held in by something else later on, but uh, we don't get to see that stage, unfortunately. And then the last thing, oh, in a bag, we've got a bit of the lunar surface here. Now I'm guessing these lunar service pieces here actually slot together with the ones next to it. So if I've got the flag here, I'm guessing this is probably going to go around one of these sides. I haven't actually done my uh, jigsaw puzzle knowledge here on this. 
but uh, I'm sure it does. It doesn't tell you the instructions, but the difference is, if you look at the footprints on this one, obviously our little astronaut doesn't fit in those, but on this one, he does. See, fits absolutely perfect. So I'll show you that on the uh, close-up camera there, just like that. Cool, so I think what's the uh, best thing to do now is put everything together to show you what we've built in these uh, trials. And there you go, that's everything. So we've got the flag, the lunar base, the astronaut with the lunar base, and we've got so far what we've done with the uh, the, the module. We've also got, obviously, the uh, landing gear that we did in the last issue, which I can't fit anywhere. Let's just put it there for a the minute. Uh, and that's it, that's the trial complete. So uh, it's a shame I enjoyed that one, but uh, I have kept the magazines for this one because uh, there's a lot of educational information regarding the Apollo missions in there, uh, which I'm sure is gonna be valuable coming up soon. Uh, what's going on this week? Well, I should be getting the Bismarcks this week. So we'll have issue 35, 36, 37, and 38, hopefully all in a row this week. We've got a Terminator coming. We're not doing the DeLorean until after the 22nd. And I'm hoping to get the victory, uh, another victory video out this week. We're gonna work a little bit more on the launch and do some more of the frame. But uh, anyway, happy Monday, everybody. Hope you enjoyed that video. Take care. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, please remember to give it a like. And if you haven't done so already, please remember to subscribe. Take care.